I just want to talk about it. Everybody tune in. Tune in, please tune in. I'm going to give y'all a couple minutes to tune in. Tag a friend, tell a friend, and tell a friend. Moochie is live. <clears throat> Reporting live 845. Tune in, everyone. Let's talk about it. <clears throat> let's talk about it. We got something to talk about today. Share this video. I mean, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Because I, I got some, I got a look. I, I got some concerns. So we're going to talk about it. Shall we talk about it? Oh, we're going to talk about it. Share this video. Tag your friend. Especially the city of Noob. Everybody start tagging people. Tune in. Tune in. Good afternoon. Hi. Good afternoon. Tune in. You already know it's your girl, Moochie. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Can I talk? Do you guys mind if I talk about it? Let me get some hearts if you want me to talk about it. Because I'm going to talk about it anyway. But let's talk about it. So you already know it's your girl, Moochie. Shout out to 845 online radio. Shout out to the hottest online radio. Shout out to Sis, I love you in the blonde. Um, we're going to talk about it in regards to the seven-year-old and his death. Let me just say this. I, I, I got to say this publicly. I'm a little bit disgusted. A little bit. No, I'm a lot of bit disgusted. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm a lot of bit disgusted. So listen to this. And this is when I be talking about uh, double standards and when I be talking about what's good for one should be good for all. So we have a seven-year-old who was abused, uh, starved. And has shackles. Um, but then they tell me the family wants privacy. I that see this bothers me. It bothers me because if this was anybody else, and we all know where we're going with this, the media would have picked this up. All channels would have picked this up. They would have dragged the parents. They would have dragged everyone. They would have had a lot to say. All of a sudden now. All of a sudden now, something this big, and this is what I'll be talking about when I say keep that same energy. I don't understand this. Keep the same energy. And when it comes to the kids, the energy is not the same. Now we have to give people privacy. Oh, uh, we, now we can't talk about it. Now this is not the point of subject. Now this, uh, um, please respect the, what? 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 Let's, not, let's talk about it, because I'm going to talk about it. And I hate to bring up certain things, but I'm going to talk about it. When people be, when uh, certain people are killed, they're dragged through the mud, their past is brought out, um, their family's past is brought out. Like, every, the, 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 all media platforms is picking this up. It's all over social media. It's all over the news. You, you see it everywhere. But then a seven-year-old dies, and this is not just no regular death. This is some, some suspicious stuff, and now it's quiet. Let's give the family privacy. They need to mourn. But, like, I don't understand. Where's the outrage? Where is the... I want, I want questions. If I'm wrong, talk to me. If I'm wrong, I want somebody in this live to tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong and then I will take it. But I don't see how I'm wrong. It makes no sense to me. People have gotten shot and they have been dragged through the mud. Their, their, their past has come up. Their family's past has come up. Every news outlet in the world picks things up like this and we're talking about it. all of a sudden, all of a sudden. We got to give the parent, the family privacy. But the, where was the family when this little boy was being uh, uh, attacked? Where was the family when this boy was suffering? He was starved. So he wasn't just starved for a day. He wasn't just starved for a week. He was starved. He had shackles on his hand. We won't be giving privacy. No, and, 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 no, um, uh, don't, the family has to grieve. And, um, no news outlet picked this up. No news outlet is dragging the people for this. I'm the only one still talking about this. The only outlet still trying to get some answers. Nobody's, I mean, this is what I be saying. We don't keep the same energy for everything. We pick and choose what we keep the same energy for. And it's not right. It's not right. It's not right. Everybody should be talking about this. Every news outlet should be talking about this every day. Keeping the people updated every day like they do everything else that makes no sense. Just like they anything else, they would tell us about it. It's in the, it's in Spectrum. It's in the paper. It's this. It's that. The, everything is being exposed. The family's outed. Like we we know pe about the people business. All of a sudden, this is none of our business, and we have to be quiet. And I just don't understand. And yet, yeah, and then there's other children in the house. There's other kids. Thank you, Jamika. There's other pe kids in that house. And there's no concern about that. We all have to. This is, this is what I be talking about. This is what I be talking about. We got to stick together. We got to stick together. 
We have to stick together. And the outrage should be for the, the energy that we have should be the same when it comes to our children. Privacy? What privacy you want? A kid was abused, starved, shackled. What privacy you want? Privacy is the kid was in the hospital and they, they say he died of COVID and that was when four hours before the family even got there. Exactly. Nancy Grace, Ben Nander, everybody, ben, ben, everybody should have picked this story up. Everybody should be talking about this story right now. We should be demanding justice right now. We should be, every time y'all turn on the TV, y'all should see this story. And y'all should, and we should be knowing the background of the family. My son's father was working two doors down in the exact build. Okay, talk to me, Amanda. Hold on, let me read this. She said, my father was working two doors down in the exact building on a sprinkler system. Hold on, on, on a sprinkler system. Um, they were in the hallway and outside the building as well. The week before the child died, there were people at the door where the child resided from Orange County Social Services trying to make contact with no such tech. They took statements, the Sprinklers Union. They, um, Jamaica said they must be related to some big people, important people. Had that been someone else, they would have took those kids without. Exactly. Took the kids without question. Um, they, it would have been in the paper. It would have been in a, 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 like, I don't understand. Like, I just don't understand if somebody could help me understand, you know, I'm dumb. I'm not the smartest young lady in the world, you know, but I just, I just don't understand. I just don't understand. And then what are we doing about the other kids in the house? Are we, are we, are, are they out? Are they safe? Like wh what, what? We don't hear nothing about this. We don't hear nothing about this. Where, wh what, what? The media is not talking about it. Everybody moving like this is what well, people asking for the family needs. Pri what privacy? A kid was injured. What privacy? What privacy? I don't even know that word when it comes to children being hurt. Privacy. I don't even know what that means. Oh, you need privacy to abuse more kids? Is that what we need privacy for? Come on, we gotta. We don't keep that same energy. I just don't understand. That's what I just wanted to say today. Like, I'm very disgusted with this. I'm very disgusted with this and how it's being handled all the way around. Um, Zuli said, why aren't they questioning the caseworker who were responsible as well? And exactly. And why we don't know, Zuli? Zuli, if this was anybody else, we would know everything every day. They would be posting every day. The media would be talking about it every day, dragging the people every day. Nothing. 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 And then we ask for privacy. Really, Zuli? Really? What, 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 we, so our kids get hurt. We need privacy. Our kids get abused and we want privacy. We want privacy. Our kids is being raped and, and, and starved and shackled. We want privacy. And then we and we the people out here talking about we're going to respect their privacy. No, I don't. I, Moochie, am not respecting nobody that um that hurts children. I don't care who you are. You don't get no privacy. If I got to talk about it every day and I got to be the only news outlet that's reminding people every day that y'all out here hurting kids, that's what I'll do. Because this is ridiculous. This is, this, this is disgusting. It's disgusting. This is disgusting, and it's not right. It's not right. It's not right. And I'm not just talking about protesting, and I'm not just talking about, I'm talking about we want answers. It should be everywhere. Like, this is not right. Like, where's the outrage? Right, Samson? Where's the outrage? Where's the, where is the outrage? Where is the CPS? Why are we not, like I said, why are we not seeing this all over Spectrum in the news? Why is the news reported? I don't, why? 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 I didn't hear about no arrest, Kenethia. What Julie said, there's no privacy. They want to figure out what they will say and cover it up. Exactly. There is no privacy. Come on, Annette. She said, my son was hit by a car four years ago and CPS was at the hospital asking me what was, um, what was when he got, um, what was when he got it, but a baby starved and there is nothing. I'm pissed. No child should go without food. Hello. This is what I'm saying. Then we talking about privacy. And then the crazy part is people out here talk about respecting their privacy. It ain't no privacy when you hurt children. When you're starving children. When you're beating children. When kids got shackles on their ankle. That's stuff that we see on forensic files. That's not supposed to be happening in a community where we talk about we are one. And then we're not outraged and we're not demanding justice and demanding answers. I'm just confused. I, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. I'm upset and I'm confused. I'm just confused. If, and like I said, if anybody got the better answer for me, by all means, please tell me. Tell me. But I'm just really confused. I'm confused as why the energy is not kept the same and why, like, right now, if somebody had drugs in the car and they got stopped, that would be all over the newspaper. All over. They'll be exposed. They, they, the whole rap sheet would be out there. 
Exactly, Jamika. There's 20 plus organizations giving out food, yet the child is malnourished. And we're talking about privacy. 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 The child died of COVID. I didn't know COVID. I'm not sure because, I'm, like I said, I'm not the smartest young lady in the world. But I didn't know COVID caused shackles on people's ankles. Nor did I know that COVID caused you to starve and be malnourished. I don't, I don't, I, 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 I'm not smart. So if y'all smarter than me, help me out. But I don't know COVID to make children malnourished, nor do I know COVID, COVID. I don't know COVID to have children with shackles on their ankles. Zuli said, I had the second floor um, to my house gutted and CPS came at my door, removed my kids saying that they can't get hurt while people are working. This is crazy, Zuli. Um, Jamika said, nah, they're working on Texas uh, paper tags. That's the biggest case. That is the, That don't make no damn sense and I don't care. Not, nothing about those tags. Nothing about those tags. Um, Anthony said, what makes no sense is there are food pantries in Newburgh. Oh, that's why I'm saying, Annette, where is, Antoinette, where is the outrage? Where's the outrage? And why are we not talking about it? Why are we not talking about a seven-year-old being starved and all over the news and all the, all the organizations out there and why this child didn't get the help and why are we not put, like, I just don't understand because if this is anything else, and we, I can tell you that because I'm media, anything else gets broadcasted, it's everywhere, you see it all day long, you know the whole business of the background of the family, of the person, but yet this is coming and it's quiet and it's no, nothing and, oh, they need privacy for what? What do you need privacy? Privacy for you didn't need privacy when you was hurting a little kid nor did you need privacy when y'all knew that the child was getting hurt and nobody said that so nobody's so i just don't understand what we need privacy for. i said we all felt bad about the boy who was abused on netflix this is our own eggs come on baby come on i can't even say lamerica i can't even i hope i said it right that's perfect right there that, remember the little boy with the Spanish woman and the stepdad on Netflix, that case? I forgot the case. You were right. And we was going crazy and looking at that Netflix case. Like, how could we? How could we let some, how could you just mother just that one boy and have him sleeping? Remember that story, y'all? And had him sleeping in the thingy and he was calling a little boy and they just beating up on a little boy, having him sleep in the closet. And so his brothers and sisters couldn't play with him. And he, remember that story, y'all, on Netflix? And all of a sudden now this is happening in our backyard. Now listen, and Netflix made a movie out of it, but you mean to tell me us as a community can't make this a priority a priority this is disgusting it's disgusting i don't care about nothing else but this little boy why are we why do we have to give privacy to her, for people hurting children in that case i guess we okay in that case, I guess we'll give the pedophiles privacy as well and the child molesters privacy as well. And I guess we'll give the, the ones that's touching kids privacy as well. I guess we're just giving all people that hurt children privacy, privacy, so they can get their stuff. To, OK, we're going to give you privacy while they're out here hurting kids. And if you hurt a kid the first time, I'm sure it's not the first time. You probably did it before. Uh, Damien said, I stay right through the backyard and it's a church three building down from their apartment that give free food to take home eggs. Come on. Come on. So that's what I'm saying. Why? Why Why are we not talking about this more? Why are we not outraged? Why are we not making some noise? Why are we not demanding answers? Why are we allowing these people to talk about they request privacy? Privacy for what? Privacy for what? I hold it, I'm holding everybody accountable. From the school to the CPS workers to, to, to the parents to the aunties and uncles. Because I tell you one thing. If my brother don't hear from my children or he don't check in and see what's going on, trust me, John John is calling all his nephews and nieces' cell phones and then he's coming down here to check on his nieces and nephews. So I'm holding everybody accountable. Aunties, uncles, uh, cousins um, that was close to this, close, you know, immediate that was close. CPS, school. Everybody, everybody, nobody gets no privacy with this little boy. Nobody. And I don't care how anybody feels towards me. I really don't care because I'm keeping this energy when it comes to the kids. The kids are innocent. They, the kids don't bother nobody. The kids are the, the kids are children. They don't know no better. We are here to teach them and guide them and lead them. Obviously, a lot of y'all can't do that. So then leave these kids alone. Stop having babies if you don't want them. Stop having babies if you're not willing to take care of them. Stop having babies by men that you don't like and you taking your aggression out on these babies. Stop it. Ladies, let me just talk to you for a minute. If you don't like the man 
man you sleeping with, stop having a baby. If the, he gives you an option to have an abortion, go have an abortion instead of having a baby by these men and then abusing them. Let's talk about the order. Or stop having babies with these men that try to keep them and then they don't want to be with you and all of a sudden you're abusing the kids. Okay, fellas, stop being with these women that don't take care of their kids. Stop being with women that put kids before before that put they, you before their children. Stop that. Okay, let's get back to the women. Stop being with these men that you know is beating on your kids and hurting your kids and doing stuff to your kids. Fellas, stop beating on these, uh, these people's children. Stop. Can I, can I, I'm going back and forth because let's just talk about the order. Fellas, stop being with these women that don't take care of their children. As a man, have some type of moral when it comes to dating women. If they don't take care of their children and they're not a good mother and they don't have to be your children to any of their children, stop messing with them. Women, if he can't be a good uh, 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 father to your children and if he's not the father of your children and your children is telling you something and reaching out to you that they're being touched or something, stop believing everybody that come in between your legs and start listening to your children. And then with, that, with all that being said, men and women start holding each other, each other accountable when it comes to these children. Aunties and uncles hold these people accountable. Grandma, grandpa hold these people accountable. Check on your nieces and nephews, your sons and daughters, your goddaughters and your godsons. Make sure everything is good. Stop acting like children lie. There's children that do lie. Start, start listening to these kids. Men, stop treating people. Thank you. Men, stop allowing people to treat your children any type of way for a place to live. That Come on. That's another thing. That's another thing. And we got to stop letting people hurt our children. This is 845. We are the Hudson Valley region. I cannot save the world. But in the Hudson Valley, things that we see on Netflix should not happen here. It should not happen here. We have a whole Netflix movie right now. A whole Netflix movie right now. And what's going to happen? What's going to happen? We got to submit this to Netflix and have them air it for you guys to care. We got to submit this to 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 uh, to Hulu for you guys to actually watch and get a heart. Is this what we got to do? Do we got to submit this to 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 America's Most Wanted? I don't know. Or something just for you guys can see on TV so you guys can get outraged. Because I don't understand how you get outraged for other stuff, but you don't get outraged for the stuff that's going on in your community. That 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 confuses me. That confuses me. A lot of, like, I thank you, um, America. A lot of y'all was upset during that, that, that um, Netflix movie. A lot of y'all was hurt. A lot of y'all was outraged. Y'all wanted her dead and everything. But what about the parents? What about the, what about the, what about new, what about this little boy right here? There ain't no privacy. And I'm going to keep saying that. It ain't no privacy. The only privacy there is, is that I can't get the detailed details because it's still in an investigation. But anything else I get is out there. I don't care. It is no privacy when you hurt children. When you molest children, when you touch children, when you starve children, when you abuse children, there is no privacy. You're on the front line. I'm blasting you. People need to know what kind of person you are. And not only do they need to know, we need to be in concern about the other children that's in your care. The other children in your care. So I'm still trying to find details of it. I'm still looking into this, but I just been really disgusted about this. Like, it's just, it's the right, Latisse. I, I I don't know. I, I I wish I knew, Zuli. I wish I knew. I just don't know. And it's very heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking that things happen to our children and we don't keep the same energy. I'm very, uh, I, 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 I just don't know. I don't know anymore, and I don't even know what to say. But if I have to talk about the little boy every day, if I have to talk about him every day, y'all just going to see me talk about him every day. Um, Antoinette, I'm, I'm, I'm calling one of my news girls now to see why they didn't, why this is not like a, a topic of thingy. So I'm already reaching out to some people, um, to see why this is not talked about or what's going on as well as I'm calling some of the popo as well, because I just want to know, like, why is this not a topic of, 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 of conversation? Um, so I, I'm gonna try to get some answers and I can get back to y'all in regards to that. You know, I'm already working on this side, trying to figure out why, but I just wanted to go live and just make this public. Like this is crazy and this is not right. And it's not fair to this little boy or to all children. This is just a very discouragement to children. Like things can happen and there's no, there's no safe zone. There's no people that's going to run out here and, and, and make it law. Is it possible to contact and make it known to Albany? Zuli, we could do anything, anything I could try to do. I'm willing to try anything and everything. Cause like I said, I believe this needs to be more attention brought to this i think it needs to be more awareness brought to this and more education brought to this i feel like whoever was involved especially the parents whoever they need to hold it because i think i just got hold on one second i just got something so hold on. i had to check to see if that was um some stuff 
but I'm gonna post the little boy again. I want you guys to share it, and we just want justice for this. We want justice for this baby, and I want to know why, who, what, when, where, and we want to hold everybody accountable. And I do want to know why the CPS is not taking these other children until the investigation is over. Like I said, I work in the health the health department. I know a lot of you work in the health department. I don't know COVID to make children malnourished, and I don't know COVID to put shackles on children's ankles and starve them to death. I don't know COVID to do that unless COVID is something different. I don't know COVID to do that. I know humans to do that, but not COVID. So um, I just wanted to do this live and just, I just want more attraction for this little boy. But man, exactly, Zuli. Exactly, Zuli. So I'm definitely going to post his picture again. If you guys can just jump on my page and just share it. And justice for this little boy, we want answers. And we want answers now. Not now, but right now. You already know it's your girl, Moochie. I love y'all.